Let's go to Johns Hopkins University with the latest numbers. Now at least 106.5 million documented cases worldwide of coronavirus with well over 27 million of those here in the U.S. And the nation is now mourning, goodness, 465,000 plus American lives lost to this virus. Yeah, every day that number is not lost on us. Right. And Jen, there are a lot of developments uh, as we go day by day here, reopening schools. And there's some controversy because the CDC director made some comments saying that it's not necessary for teachers to be vaccinated in order to reopen schools. That got a lot of pushback, especially from the teachers unions in different states. What's the latest on that? Well, Amy, everyone's trying to get on the same page here between science and schools, and we do expect some more developments this week. But here's what the data tells us at this point. A CDC study done in Wisconsin showed only 3.7% of cases K through 12 were tied to in-person learning. This was 37% lower than that seen in the community. No staff member infections were tied to in-person learning, which of course is good news. But the caveats here, you guys, this was when aggressive mitigation measures were in place. So masking, ventilation, reduced capacity in the classroom, hand washing and contact tracing. But then you have to go to what do we know about teachers and staff? Because it's not just about the school children. And we have to remember that teachers represent group 1B in the CDC vaccination rollout. It is estimated that one in four teachers has a pre-existing medical condition, placing them at higher risk for COVID. The psychological comfort that they have to feel for their physical safety is critical. And the CDC director, again, has been quoted as saying that schools should be the first to reopen and the last to close. So this is something we're going to stay on top of this week as we expect more guidelines from the CDC on schools. All right, Dr. Ashton, we appreciate you as always. We're going to see you plenty throughout the hour, of course, from home. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.